I've failed sourdough starters so many times, but I'm willing to give it another shot if you can like cheer me on. So this is a quarter cup of flour, a quarter cup of water. I did it wrong already. <laughs> okay, okay, we'll start over. Okay, so maybe I did that wrong. I think you're supposed to do flour, starter, and then water. But uh, we're going to open the instructions. So what I had originally done is use the QR code, and uh, clearly I forgot what I was supposed to do. So there are instructions in here, and uh, it should be fairly, should be self-explanatory, but it's me, guys. This is the starter. This is it. And uh, let's see. Uh, one tablespoon of flour one tablespoon of our starter and uh i don't know if this is going to be a tablespoon worth it doesn't say i don't want to mess this up that's the one thing i get nervous about when we're making this stuff is that like what if i mess it up this time and you get one shot so i read the in instructions so many times and it said one tablespoon this does look like it might be a tablespoon so i'm going to measure it out for the sake of this video is uncomfortable. What am I doing wrong? Oh, you're just adding the full packet. This isn't a tablespoon. So there, there's that, there's that. Full packet, full packet, okay? Um, room temperature water, filtered water preferably. People on the internet tend to use like wooden utensils. I don't really know why they do that. I'm just gonna use what I find. This doesn't seem like so much, but this is what I'm doing. This is what the instructions call for. So I'm just doing what they say to do. This seems so little, so little. I'm really worried about this. One packet, one tablespoon of flour, one tablespoon of room temperature water in a quart size glass jar and stir thoroughly. Cover the jar with a coffee filter and breathable material. You get to see me struggle. This doesn't even look like very much. What am I supposed to do with this? One, one tablespoon. That's what it said. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous that this is not going to be enough. It's just like a little, it's just so little. That's what she said. Okay, well, it's all incorporated for sure. Like that's it. There's not much else I can do here. So uh, you and I are gonna check back in the morning and we're gonna see how this turned out because I am afraid it is not enough of anything but I am following the instructions, so you and I will succeed or fail based on the instructions that I have here. I'd like to mention that I initially started following the instructions that were on the QR code that is different from what I have here. The measurements on the QR code are different than the measurements here, so I don't know why that is that way, but I have to wait 12 to 24 hours. So 24 hours is 9 p.m., 9.30 p.m. tomorrow is when we're going to check this. So for now, this is where we leave. I got to put like a coffee filter on top or something to make sure the little buggies don't get inside. But that's it. So we're just going to we're just gonna all go to sleep and hope for the best. And this is me putting a lid on. They said you can put a lid that's kind of like loose, like just to keep the buggies out, okay? So it's going to sit there 12, 24 hours.